Time was when this town had to make do with rotational brownouts and heavy smoke emission from the generators. Quite unthinkable at this modern time when technology has taken over the lives of the common Filipino, but not for Paluenos. Generators used to be the town's main source of electricity. Alternative when Occidental Mindoro Electric Cooperative or Omeco abandoned its service due to the town's inaccessibility. In a day, these could only supply power at a maximum of 14 hours. The local government is losing around 1.5 million to 2 million a year. We cannot really uh, uh, cope with all the, uh, aside from not uh, uh, Cannot, we cannot supply all the, the entire municipality. But this is now a thing of the past, when Paluenos realized their town has long been blessed by the sun. It all started when Leandro Leviste, President and CEO of Solar Philippines, and Paluan Mayor Carl Michael Pangilinan met in an event in Manila. And in December 2017, after months of talks, the pilot project for Livista's Solar Para Sabayan program aimed at electrifying rural areas was finally coming into a reality in Paloan. Nung una, ang iniisip namin parang it's very impossible na magkaroon ng multi-million project sa Paloan considering we are in the northern tip of Occidental Mindoro, tapos third class municipality. Then again, nakita namin na seryoso si, si Sir Leviste, especially nung meeting namin sa uh, NEA noon, nung sinabi niya talaga na he wants to make it happen. The Paloan project is a first in Asia. A whole town is energized round the clock with the help of 6,500 photovoltaic panels. At least 80% of households here in Paloan Occidental Mindoro are now enjoying a reliable power supply because of these. These are solar panels used as a medium in generating a cheaper at cost and cleaner electricity coming from the sun. The panels can generate 2 megawatts of electricity, more than enough for the 350 kilowatt average power demand of Paloan. So for emergency powers, halimbawa is uh, naubusan tayo ng charge ng batteries or wala ng araw or umuulan, sobrang maulap, Meron tayong uh, emergency power na tinatawag na ito yung, ito yung genset natin. So sa Paluan, dito sa Paluan, meron gumagamit tayo ng apat na set, uh, apat na set ng generators. Delilah Parisan belongs to the local Mangyan tribe and has herself never experienced a reliable power supply. But with the 24-7 electricity from solar panels, the children of the 31-year-old mother can now study even at night. Masaya din po naman kami at hindi naman po laging, nag, laging na nag, wala po na po masyadong brown out mula po na nagkasolar. Josefina Templanza, head teacher of the Paloan National High School, noticed the improvement in the performance of her students and a continuous supply of electricity has also helped her colleagues. Nagagawa ko na nang walang abala ang lahat ng school forms and uh, school uh, records at naipapasa namin ng tama sa oras. The Solar Philippines Initiative has also benefited merchants like Edgar Barrientos, who can now have his stock of squid and other marine products stored in a reliable cold storage area without fear that it would conk out. Kung makakagawa kami ng, kung makaka, ano, kami ng sariling freezer, malaking mamumura namin. Malaking, malaking masisave namin. Saka mas sigurado yung produkto namin. And effectivity of ensuring the peace and order in the town has been observed with all day and all night long electricity. Minimal po ang crime response namin kasi nga stable ang kuryente 24 Although may kunting interruption, pero naibabalik din po agad. So from December or November nag-start po ang solar to present, uh, wala pong crime incident dito sa, sa Paluan. The whole Paloan project cost Solar Philippines almost 150 million pesos. Definitely a risk investment which Leviste did not bother. Paluan was the town that had the worst power service in Occidental Mindoro, the province that was known as the brownout capital of the Philippines. So if we could make the town that previously had the worst power 
have the best power in the region, then we hope to send a message that this is possible in every town in the Philippines. This town is a testament that the use of solar energy is feasible. And if we are to learn a thing or two from its people, that is to believe. From Paloan Occidental Mindoro, I'm Ria Fernandez, Manila Bulletin.